Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, back on some JJK Phantom Parade, you know, where, where, I think we're 10 days off now, up until the global release, so, mm, it's getting exciting, um, look, I've got to be, I, I have to drop this video, I've got to let you know, because the one thing about this game, it's a gacha game, and in order to get the characters, it requires summons. Now, I just want to clarify, Throughout my time playing JP, I have always been free to play. I've had multiple accounts. This isn't my uh, official day one account. I just want to clarify that. But um, I have always been free to play. I've never this. I've never put money into JJK Phantom Parade. And when it comes to global, I will be free to play. I I'm not even going to be making a second account to be like that's going to be my pay to an account. And then I'm going to have a free to play. Account. I am not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm not going to go into reasoning on why I'm keeping 100% free to play, but. I'm keeping 100% free to play when I go into JJK. It's doable, by the way. So I'll do my best to kind of give you guys all the tips and tricks and whatnot. But I will say this right now, I'm 100% going to be free to play for Global. Now, again, I really shouldn't be making this video, I feel like. <laughs> I might have just killed my sponsors. But anyway, uh, why not? I'm, yeah, i got to let you guys know on what's going down. So, Jujutsu Kaisen. The summoning system, the summoning side of JJK Phantom Parade. How is it, Shiny? Is it any good? What's the pity looking like? It is pretty brutal. I'm not going to lie. You know, when it comes to JJK Phantom Parade, you know, I think with how the game is, it kind of reminds me of an old school type gacha game. That That's the best way I can kind of put it. If you're going to be free to play on this specific game on JJK Phantom Parade, the summoning system is not your friend. Well, to be fair, that's for all gacha games. But this one in particular is very, very brutal and harsh. All right? Because they don't care. They do not care. If you get shafted, they will kick you when you are down. All right? <laughs> so for free to play, when I say this, uh, y like you need to be self-disciplined in terms of not just dropping a multi here and there. Like, let... let to, to put it plainly, when it came to this account, when I started it, I rerolled, had a good start in, right? Summoned for the half anniversary, haven't summoned since. Outside of me starting the account and then summoning on the half anniversary, I have not been summoning at all, no in-betweens. I'm waiting for the first year anniversary. Even with the first year anniversary coming up, I'm trying to hit 30k cubes, which probably will equate well. Even with 30k cubes, I'm telling you right now, I'm probably gonna get manhandled. I probably, I'm probably not even gonna be pulling so gonna to be fair when he drops. But I'm hoping I'm wrong. I will say that right now because my luck on the half hour of battery was insane. Um, but that, that that's one of the big things on what we're going to have to do if you are gonna be free to play about it. You just have to focus on the big, big characters. The characters that pretty much will run the game for a long period of time. There's no in-between banners you can summon on. You just have to save like a mother trucker, right? Um, so, the, and uh, here's the thing, the rates, <laughs> oh, the rates, okay, hold on, wait a minute. The rates are brutal, so for this new Kugasaki, yeah, 0.7%, 0.7%, so, I mean, to be fair, it, it, it is a given how rates are always going to be brutal, but, yeah, that that's going to be uh, something to also factor in, of course. So, one thing which I do want to mention, when it comes to summoning, um, and being free to play, of course, I'm hoping that they keep the same amount of respect on Global that they have done on JP, right? Because the thing about JP is whenever milestones are reached on JP, no matter what it is, um, they have been very, very generous in terms of giving out 3,000 cubes, 10 tickets, which equates to a multi, um, and just other resources to help out in, in in the summoning side of things. Whenever, well, this was back when Global, uh, sorry, when JP first started, when events started coming out, they would always make it so that you were able to you were able to obtain tickets to uh, then summon on the newest banner. I know from the very first couple of events when the game first started out, you were able to at least get like a multi's worth. So every time a new event dropped, every time a new character released, um, the game itself, as long as you grinded out on the new event, you could grind up uh, a multi's worth for the new banner. If you got lucky, you got lucky. If you didn't, you didn't. It is what it is, of course. Um, I think they've toned it down a bit right now because I know there's a new event right now and there's a new Kugel Saga that is out, of course. And I don't think... Uh, let me just double check because I've not been playing it as much, which I really should. Let me just double check if a multi is still in here. Typically, it is in the shop. 
let me double check. Do, 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 do. Oh yeah, so there we go. Yeah, so there, 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 there's a multi's worth. So there's a ten tickets. Oh wait, I can pick up one right now. Hey, why not? <laughs> For the sake of the video, hey, I might be able to yellow it. So they, they are very generous on that part in terms of when it comes to us being free to play. Hey, we can yolo it, you know. So right there, there's a there's a multi's worth of uh, Kugusagi with the newest event. Again, this is something that they'll continually do through events. So this is something nice. And I'm, again, I'm hoping that they keep. Because here's the thing: we've all played games, um, and, and we've seen how they treat uh, with JP and Global. Right? Global always gets, pun in my French, the shit end of the stick in terms of. Um, rewards being lesser right we've seen it it's nothing new and i'm hoping and i say this that they they, they keep the same amount of respect for global upon release because if that is the case um then i i think going forward it won't be as bad um i mean we'll still have our fair chances i mean for the most part we'll, we'll always have the uh, universal banner that will always be here of course and so they'll be probably giving out a few tickets here and there for this so if you get lucky on this one then fair play of course now Ah, the pity. The pity. <laughs> you guys are not going to like this one. <laughs> so there is a pity system in this game. And um, it's pretty, as I've just said, brutal. It's very harsh. So the way the pity system works for JJ, uh, JJK Phantom Parade is it requires you to do summons. So every single summon equates to one point. So if you do a multi, that's 10 points because that's 10, 10 pulls you're doing, right? So in order to hit Pity, you have to do, well, you need to get 250 points, which is 25 multi, which equates to 75,000 cubes, which is a lot. And it will literally take you months to save up. So when I say this, I don't think not many free to play players will ever hit Pity throughout their time playing this game unless you have a side account and you don't summon for like six seven months <laughs> like a ridiculous amount of months then okay fair play yeah you can you can hit p you know yeah, fair play but if you're going to casually play it on and off and whatnot i, I, I don't think anyone I, I know for a fact i'm not ever going to be hitting p on um on, on my free play account i, I don't that's 75k cubes Ooh. um but yeah so that's one thing it's very brutal in terms of pity. Right? I feel like that is going to be a very uh, a killer vibe for a lot of people. Um, now here's the other little bit of a scam. I don't like this. I don't know why they did this. I'm hoping they change this for global. To be fair, realistically, I do hope that they change the point amount for global to fifth to 150. I think that will be very reasonable. And then they change the um, recollection card to like 50. Maybe I'm asking for too much, but from what they're pricing it here, boys, it is way too much. So this is also, um, yeah, by the way, uh, Pity doesn't carry over. So let's say you summon on the Kugusaki banner, and then you're like, you know what? I'm going to save my 100 points to the next banner. Nope, it gets, yep, it's, it's gone. Yeah, it gets played away. But they've updated it to where the, uh, you can now exchange it for gacha points. So here's a little bit of a trade-off. Because the initial summoning points don't carry over, right? Because I did a single summon, there's one point right there. If I leave this one point, it's going to get completely erased right when the banner leaves. It doesn't carry over. But what they've implemented is that you can trade in 20 points to get a 10-point guard. So basically, they're taking half of your points away. Because what this card will do is that this point card carries over to the next banner. So let's say I did 10 multis, that equates to 100 points. I can use all of those 100 points to save half of it, being 50 points. So that way, let's say the next banner is Gojo, and I do enough summons where I've got 200 points, I've still got the 50 points that will forever stay and carry over to every single banner, right? Because it's in the card form, right? That I can then use with the amount of points that I've summoned for to get the newest character. Right in this, as I've mentioned, the, 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 the new Gojo will say that. So it's 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 a bit scammy. It's like hey, because it's just like hold on a minute. I, I've put in this amount of summons. Shouldn't I just not keep it? Like hello, I, I, I've invested this amount of my currency. Why are you taking fifty percent of my currency? You guys see what I'm saying? It's just like oh yeah, I'm not a fan of that. So I'm hoping for global. 
that they respect us <laughs> to the point where, hey, if I'm giving you 20 points, let me keep 20 points. Why are you taking half of it away? So yeah, boys, let me tell you. Now, one thing I will say is when it comes to Universal Banner, um, the banner is always there, right? So as you guys can see, I've equated 92 points. Once I hit 200, um, they'll give me an SSR ticket. So uh, this one's fairly nice. Whenever the game, because the game will give you tickets that you can get, for, even from the shop, th th there's a shop area. So you can gradually build up points for that, which is going to be very nice and very handy. So that's actually not too bad. So long term wise, you can eventually get things cooking. So I mean, I'm pretty sure there's some in here. So like in, in, in here, you can get um, three here, five here. I mean, if you really save up your um, th these materials, you can get some GSSR tickets and whatnot. So the game does, um, like, it, you know, the, the more time you put into it, the more um, game modes you complete, of course, the more um, currency that you uh, get throughout some of these shops. It, it is worthwhile because you can walk away with some um, SSRs. And that's going to be pretty much our trump card in terms of being free to play on what we're going to have to capitalize on again if we have a strong start at the very beginning of re-rolling and getting gojo looks like of course getting some good supports we're going to have a you know it's going to be easy at the very beginning and even going forward to where um when half anniversary drops we're going to be in, in a comfortable position now i am going to make a video talking about the lineup and what's going to happening because pretty much at the very beginning of jjk like a month or so in depending on how quick they are with content release there's going to be the movie collaboration and I know for a fact this is going to catch a lot of us off because um, even I'm going to be summoning. I'm not going to lie, e e even I'm going to be summoning. So yeah, um, I think with JJK Phantom Parade there are going to be specific moments and times of where it's worth summoning. But for the most part boys, a huge chunk of it we're going to have to skip so many banners. And I mean again we've got our events that we can rely on, we've got the free multi that we can rely on. but. Yeah, I think near the beginning of the release of the game, we'll look into summoning early on. And again, it's going to be brutal because shafts will be inbound. We won't have enough time to actually have anything for pity. So, yeah, it's going to be a tough one. That's why with JJK summoning, boys, it's uh, it's it's not the best. It's not my favorite. Um, but at, at the end of the day, I'm hoping that they make some form of improvements. Because if they keep it as is... Um, yeah, the, the the summoning side of JJK is very, very harsh. Very, very harsh. So, But that's the truth. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to tell you how it is. That is the truth. So it's very old school type vibes. And um, yeah, so just be j just a heads up. Just a heads up. That's all I'll say on that one. Just a heads up.